Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Dahlia and today we are on my new island, Honey Oats. We're basically starting off right where we left off in the last video. Um, we're still technically on the first day on the island. And yeah, so if you haven't seen my previous video, I reset my autumn island to start my new sleepy spring village which is this island. It's called Honey Oats, which if you haven't seen that previous video, I explained my choosing of the name and why I love the name so much, but I think it's so cute and I'm really, really excited for this new island. So feel free to check out my last video if you want to see the process of me resetting and choosing my island layout and how I'm really excited the fact that I have Buck and Cat as my new starters because they were actually my starters on my first island back in 2020 when I first got my Nintendo Switch. Um, so yeah, I went into more detail about that in that video. Um, but for today's video, if you can tell by the thumbnail, we're on the Nook Mile grind. We are going to get the 5k Nook Miles that we need to pay off our, like, first house loan. And we're going to start collecting bells and we're going to clean up the island a little bit, start gathering resources, um, do a lot of bug and fish catching, and we're also going to get blathers to move on to the island. So that's pretty much the entire goal of today's video so I hope that you guys enjoy it. I am going to be doing daily videos for my island until I reach three stars so that's gonna be a lot of fun. I like doing these kind of let's play style videos especially when I restart a new island. So the first thing I had to do is go and do the DIY workshop thing and when I tell you I had to make so many flimsy um, fishing rods and bug nets in this video and then afterwards I am doing this voiceover after recording the footage so this isn't exactly like a let's play like live let's play this is me doing a voiceover to footage that I've already recorded um, but after I finish recording this footage I spent like four hours just catching bugs and catching fish and getting nook miles so you will see that in the next video which is actually more of a let's play style because I record the audio along with my my like play along um, but I really just wanted to get a start on getting materials especially for when I have to get the nooks cranny and have the three plots made because having that made and having all the materials that you need for that is like a lot when you first start the game so I'm getting ahead of it while I can um, <laughs> so that's what I did uh, but here I'm just starting to catch some fish and bugs for blathers obviously we give the What's it called? Um, the creatures to Tom Nook and then Blathers moves in the next day. So I do set up his tent in this video too. And I'm trying really hard not to cheat at the beginning. Not cheat, I hate using that word. But I'm trying to be faithful to the game and not use my other island or use any outsourced resources to like skip ahead. So I'm not going to be getting like materials from my other island in order to like build things or anything like that. But I did visit my other island or have my other island come and visit me, my other self, to get me a vaulting pole and a um, ladder because I wanted to move my tent somewhere at the back of the island for blathers because I'm going to be keeping him in his tent and if you didn't know you cannot move his tent once it is placed you can move the museum once it's upgraded but the tent is just stuck where you place it
So after I get the 10 from Tom Nook here, I actually almost, not immediately after this, but I play a little bit longer and then I actually cut to the next day, both in real time and in the game. I basically just stopped playing after I realized I didn't have access to a um, swimsuit to swim to the other side of the island. So I do a little bit more Nook Maw grinding here, but not for very long. But then I do travel to the next day and have myself visit myself, <laughs> which sounds so weird to say, um, and give myself a vaulting pole so that I could place my tent where I wanted it to be placed because I'm not moving it and I am not upgrading this museum unlike all the previous times that I said I was going to keep Blathers in his tent and then I eventually upgraded I am keeping him in this tent this time around so I found a place on the island that I felt was appropriate that I liked enough and that's that's what we did so um, there is one of the many, many broken, um, trash tools, which is really good because you actually get Nook Miles from that. Um, but as you can see, I quickly caught a lot of bugs and fish off camera and started selling them to, 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 to Timmy. I actually... In the next video, you'll see I have like a little over 100,000 bells because I like did a lot of fishing and bug catching and I sold a lot of like apples and yeah. So I decided one way of getting nook miles is by shooting down balloons and I already had to like leave a bunch of balloons that I saw because I didn't have the slingshot yet. Um, so I got this like shot, I got a flimsy watering can, and then I got some yellow hyacinths because I'm going to plant those because that is another way that you can actually get Nook Miles, which is planting flowers. Um, so I just quickly grabbed those from Timmy and then I just plant them in front of my resident services right here, my little baby plaza, which I love so much. I said in my previous video, I really wish that we could just keep the plaza in like the little tent option and I've seen some modded islands online that cup the plaza the way that it is and it's just so cute um so yeah I planted the flowers we got ourselves some nook miles I'm gonna have to start planting tons of flowers but I'm gonna be tr like try to be really good about it and not let them get overgrown and crazy like I have all the other times um and then I water them with the flimsy watering can which is so annoying the fact that you can only do one at a time like this is so tedious <laughs> also can we agree that I look like a dad on vacation with like my outfit and the hat that that um buck gave me <laughs> um so I just go okay, water the rest of the flowers I do not have a shovel yet so the way that I placed the flowers looks kind of weird but I'll fix it later um, and at this point we we're almost completely um, at the 5k mark for the nook miles which like if you grind for nook miles you can actually get them pretty quickly which is really great so I luckily had a slingshot and was finally able to get something with the balloon and it was a lovely little animal stripe skirt so after that, I actually stopped playing and this is the next day in game. Nothing exciting really happened and there's not really much to talk about for the early, early morning newscast. Um, but my airport is open, which is why I visited myself and was able to give myself some much needed tools, mainly just to get to the other side of the thing just to move the um oh my god what's it called blathers tent that's mainly it but i did actually get enough of miles to upgrade and to pay off my starter loan so that's exciting i guess i didn't realize when i finished playing the previous day that i got enough milk miles but yeah
we reached 5,000. So very exciting. So I just quickly opened my mail. We just had something from mom and it's the starter fruit that she gives you. And because I do not have any storage in my tent, I just leave it on the ground in front of my house because I want to plant that eventually. So <laughs> I quickly just ran around and said hi to my villagers because once again, that is something else that counts towards Nook Miles, which is making sure you speak to your villagers every day as an active island resident. So if you talk to your villagers every day, you get Nook Miles. Not every day, but eventually it adds up. And excitedly, I got a table mirror, so the next video you will see me with new hair, which is very exciting. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I said hi to Tommy real quick. He's so cute. I'm so sad when they stop letting Timmy and Tommy roam around the island once they have Nook's Cranny. Like, why can't they just, like, be outside exploring? Like, they're just so cute, you know? Anyway, so I quickly talked to Tom Nook about my moving fees and paid that off, which is really good. And then I didn't even realize I should have talked to him again to speak about upgrading my house. Um, so I do that in a few minutes, but after completely not reading the dialogue, because I never read the dialogue anymore, um, <laughs> I uh, just went over to my airport and opened it up, which is what you are about to see next. And I don't know what to say in these videos. This is so incredibly awkward. Um, okay. If you haven't seen my previous video and you are curious of what the theme of this island is going to be, I did speak about it in my previous video. So if you want to go back and watch that, you're free to. But I am making a spring island as you can tell by the fact that we're currently in spring um it is not probably going to be set in the cherry blossom season because i want one of my main color schemes to be green so i want all the the tones of the green of the trees and everything um but it's going to be a sleepy little spring village and my color scheme is going to be blue yellow and green um and I'm really excited for this island. Like, I started looking up some, what's it called, um, some custom designs and stuff on Pinterest. And I already have the main path that I'm going to be using on this island. And a couple of really cute, like, custom designs that I'm going to be using for various different, like, builds that I have planned. So yeah, I'm just insanely excited. So I just quickly, like, sped through this. Um, as you can see, there's my little my little character from my my winter island. Hence the reason she's dressed in winter clothing. And I did mention this in the last video too, but I am still planning on posting videos for that island too. Um, I know I basically stopped recording videos for that island like mid March and never explained why. Um, but I just like, I wanted to finish my autumn island and I just focused entirely on that. So videos for that island are soon to come. So now that I have the uh, bolting, vaulting pole thing, um, this is where I'm gonna be placing Blather's tent. So I just quickly cleaned up the area. Looking at all the weeds that I have to pull is exhausting and I don't even wanna think about when I'm gonna have to flatten this island. Um, but yeah, so here is where I'm going to be placing it in the little top corner on the left. And I think this is a perfect spot. I'm actually kind of mad because you can actually see this from my plaza. I thought I was far back enough, but I'm not. But it's fine because I'm going to hide it behind some cliffs and stuff. Like I kind of have this whole idea of like having his tent be like a sunken like dig site if that makes any sense um so i'm gonna be hiding it like surrounded by cliffs so <laughs> that's a future video you guys can look forward to um but anyway i finally upgraded my home so while i love the tents and i wish we could stay in the tents forever i'm really excited that we're actually gonna have some storage because 
Um, after I finished recording this, I placed all the materials and stuff that I gathered just on the beach because I have nowhere to put them right now. Um, so my island is quickly, like, starting to be a chaotic mess. And I'm only on day two. But, like, I don't expect anything less from me. I'm gonna try to keep this island as organized as possible, but I cannot guarantee that I will. So, yeah. After this, I did some stretches because we got our Nook Mile Plus redemption thing. And one of the things that you can redeem for is this group stretches. So this is so cute because I'm so used to seeing the group stretches with like a full group of people. And I only have these villagers and Tom Nook. So, so we got Wilbur. Or Orville? Is that Orville or Wilbur? My brain is not is not computing with me right now. But look how cute this is. And I did speed this up and look how funny this is. Like I'm not even gonna speak, just like watch the hilarity of this. I can't get over how cute this is. <laughs> like, it's cute normally. Like, look at the little jumping. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. And watching the Nook twins do this is the cutest. And they're in their little track outfits. Oh my god, I love this so much. And then I took my screenshot of my thumbnail. which was so cute. Oh god. But yeah, that was... <laughs> Pretty much the end of the video, I think, at this point. Um, I don't think I did anything after this. No, okay. Alright, that is everything for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this style of Let's Play. It was very rambly, but I enjoyed recording it because I really love the early part of the game. So if you guys enjoyed it as well, feel free to leave a like. Look how absolutely adorable Tommy looks. Um, give him all the love by subscribing to the channel as well. And I will see you all in my next video. And I'm just going to run off the screen now because I still don't have reactions. So, bye.